The XFL 2023 Supplemental Draft is complete. We have the full details round by round. So the XFL kicked off the new year by conducting a supplemental draft this past Sunday to fill the remaining roster spots of each team. Prior to the draft, quarterback Brian Scott was assigned to the Vegas Vipers. The draft consisted of 17 rounds with a total of 90 players selected. The teams followed a snake-style format with the pick order reversing each round. The selections included players who were previously ineligible to be drafted, and i.e. USFL guys, and players who were not selected during the XFL draft on November 16th and 17th. Here's a kicker. Remember, we were Mike Mitchell had been reporting about some issues with the NFL Alumni Academy. Well, NFL Alumni Academy graduates who are not selected will be assigned to teams and instructed to report to camp with their teammates. So I have not, I've talked to some NFL Alumni Academy people, uh, players that ha- didn't get selected. They're just waiting to hear what teams they'll be assigned to. But that's great news. That's kind of the best way to resolve it. It's just kind of giving these guys a chance, put them in camp and, and let it fly from there. Maybe they weren't drafted, but, you know, being able to place all these guys, I think that solved the problem. So the drama with the NFL Alumni Academy looks to be done. I would assume they're going to make adjustments next year when it comes to how they're going to do things. So the first two rounds of the XFL Supplemental Draft were completed as follows. Your St. Louis Battlehawks were the first pick. Brahmas, Renegades, Sea Dragons, Vipers at number five. Guardians, America's team, DC Defenders were seven, and Houston Roughnecks are eight, and then it flipped Houston, D.C., Guardians, Vipers, Seattle Sea Dragons, Renegades, Brahmas, Battlehawks. All right, we have the picks here for you. We'll run them down. In the first round, the St. Louis Battlehawks select Juan Bushell Beatty, offensive lineman. Uh, he played in the XFL. Offensive lineman San Antonio took Chidi Oki from Tennessee State. Teton Salt. Saltis was the third pick from Arlington. Another offensive line. Offensive lineman went in the beginning. Kai Abashir, Seattle, took offensive lineman. Offensive guard, Isaiah Williams, went to Vegas. Eli Ra- Rogers, wide receiver, Louisville. We know him from the Pittsburgh Steelers and played with your D.C. defenders. He returns to the XFL with the Orlando Guardians. Davin Bellamy, a defensive lineman out of Georgia, D.C., took him. And then Will Likely, a DB from Maryland, was selected by Houston. Will likely, I believe, played in the USFL. A couple of these guys had already played in the USFL. Round two, Houston took Derek Robertson, a defensive end from Sam Houston State. Reggie Northrup, linebacker, Florida State, D.C. defenders. I was a fan of Reggie Northrup in the USFL. Great defensive linebacker. Now he comes to the XFL. Super excited when I saw his name pop up on there. Uh, Trevon Sanders, a defensive tackle for Troy, went to Orlando. Destiny Vallejo, a defensive lineman, Washington State for Vegas. Ryan Williams-Pope, offensive lineman, San Diego State for the Seattle. Jamal Carter, Arlington, a DB from Miami. Camilo Tomangoa, San Antonio defensive lineman of Iowa State. St. Louis Battlehawks took Travis uh, Feeney, linebacker from Washington, and that runs out round two. Round three, Freedom Akimendulian-Dunn. Uh, defensive lineman from Nebraska taken by the Battlehawks. Terry Poole, offensive lineman, San Diego State from San Antonio. Donald Payne, DB from Stetson, who goes to Arlington. Jared Thomas, offensive lineman, Northwestern University to Seattle. Emmanuel Beal, linebacker from Oklahoma by the Vegas with the 21st pick. T. Gray Scales, outside linebacker from Indiana, uh, gets drafted by the Orlando Guardians. Now, he also played in the XFL in 2020. Uh, there, Liam uh, Ryan, offensive tackle, Washington State, to D.C. Emmanuel Ellerby, linebacker out of Rice, goes to Houston. That rounds up round three. Round four, John Yarbrough, offensive line out of Richmond, goes to Houston. Josh Avery, defensive lineman of the Southeast Missouri State, goes to D.C. Uh, Josh Harvey Clemens, a safety out of Louisville, goes to Orlando. Cyrus Holder, wide receiver, Disgain. Goes to Vegas. Sharif Miller, defensive lineman of Penn State, goes to Seattle. George Moore, offensive lineman. Oregon uh, goes to Orlando, or Arlington. Delonte Scott, a linebacker. SMU goes to San Antonio. Nate Meteors, it's a cornerback from UCLA, goes to St. Louis. St. Louis on the flip side. Hakeem Butler, a wide receiver from Iowa State. Mike Scott, San Antonio, a defensive lineman. They pick him up, uh, Oklahoma State. 
Aaron Adoke, Adoe, a defensive lineman for, to Arlington. Clarence Hicks, an inside linebacker, Texas San Antonio, goes to Seattle. Matt Cohen, offensive tackle, Vegas. Aaron Dilworth, wide receiver, Texas A&M Kingsville to Orlando. Tyler Cantanella, offensive lineman, Georgia, goes to D.C. His name uh, rings a bell as well. And Sean Davis, uh, linebacker out of University of Maryland, goes to Houston, rounding out round five. All of this, of course, is on XFL News Hub. Round six, Suu Olanulia, a fullback from Texas Christian, goes to Houston. Interesting, a fullback taken in Houston. Are they going to do the wide open running game? Or they got now they have a fullback in there. I haven't seen many fullbacks taken in the XFL. D.C. takes Francis Bernard, an inside linebacker out of Utah. Darius Clark, a running back from Newberry, gets picked up by Orlando. Wes Bowers, inside linebacker, Boise State. Bowie State uh, for Vegas. Josh Gordon, wide receiver, Baylor, Seattle. Yes, that Josh Gordon has been picked up by the XFL, played in the Fan Control Football League for a little while, played in the NFL. He gets a chance. He's a little on the older side, but gets a chance to show what he can do in Seattle. That was the biggest name on this list by far, at least for your outside of the alt football space. That was the biggest name. Sean uh, uh, Williams Jr., DB from Navy, San Antonio. Shakir Soto, defensive line from Pittsburgh, goes to picks up by St. Louis, and that wraps out C, uh, round six. All of this took place. Everything was dropped at about 6 p.m. Eastern time, so this wasn't something that we could do live coverage. Just want to point that out as well. Chris Cooper, safety from Stony Brook. Yeah, Long Island goes to St. Uh, Louis. Jordan McCray, offensive lineman, Central Florida, from San Antonio. May Tomumamin, uh, offensive lineman, Southeastern Louisiana to Arlington. Tijan Kormoma, offensive lineman, Brigham Young. Trey Dickerson, cornerback, Emporia State to Vegas. Orlando skipped their picks. Terrell Hanks to D.C., linebacker, New Mexico State. James Stanley, tight end out of Hampton, goes to Houston. That wraps out round seven. Round eight, now we start seeing more teams pick, uh, skip picks. So Houston took Antonio Nunn, wide receiver from Buffalo. Uh, Markel Utsi, defensive tackle, Arkansas, was taken by D.C. Orlando Vegas skipped their pick. Uh, Seattle takes Jordan V.C., wide receiver, California. Oh, here's another name. Arlington takes Devon Smith, running back, Michigan. For all of you USFL fans, yes, that Devon Smith, the one that got kicked off the team with the whole pizza, chicken salad thing, he is in the XFL with Arlington. Again, Arlington picking guys who, picking veteran XFL guys. I really think D.C. Arlington are going to be some of your top teams this year, in my opinion. So another name in the all-football space. Glad to see to give him a shot, and I hope he tears things up in, for Arlington and in D.C. or in the XFL. Deshaun Downey, inside linebacker, UMass, goes to San Antonio. Vidal Alexander, offensive line, LSU, goes to the St. Louis Battlehawks, closing out round eight. Round nine, Carson Wells, outside linebacker, Colorado. Cody Brown, DB from Arkansas State, Arlington, or San Antonio. Arlington takes Darren Evans, a cornerback from Louisiana State. Elijah Holder, DB from Stanford, goes to Seattle. Vegas, Orlando, skips. Darren Heron, running back from Georgia, goes to the D.C. Defenders. Houston skips their picks. Uh, D.C. then takes Farrard Gardner, outside linebacker, Louisiana Lafayette. Orlando Vegas skip their picks. Uh, Coquette Washington, outside uh, offensive tackle, Southern Miss, goes to Seattle. Tyler Vaughn's wide receiver, USC, goes to Arlington. Kelvin Pick Pickney, defensive tackle, South Florida. And Trey Watson, inside linebacker, go Terps, Maryland, rounds out, goes to St. Louis, and that rounds out round 10. Finally, just a couple more smattering of picks. Alexander Matherson, a long snap from Cal Southern, goes to St. Louis. Chase Pine, inside linebacker from Pittsburgh, goes to San Antonio. Colin Schooler, inside linebacker, Texas Tech, go to Arlington. And Zach Thomas, o offensive guard from Pittsburgh State, KS, Goes to Seattle, Vegas, Orlando, skip. 
Kalif Bryce, outside linebacker, Florida Atlantic, goes to your D.C. defenders. Houston skips their pick. D.C. takes another Josh Lanier, wide receiver, Jackson State. Heard some names, uh, some stuff about him. That was a good pick there. The 77th pick in the 12th round. Then Orlando Vegas skip. Seattle takes Chris Rice, defensive end, Castleton State, with the 78th pick. The Bone Renfro, cornerback from Texas A&M, goes to Arlington. And uh, Anthony Texada, a DB from Texas Christian, goes to San Antonio. He, too, played in the XFL original. Darius Bradwell, running back to Lane. Uh, Naquan uh, goes to St. Louis. That rounds out 12. And finally, 13th round, Naquan Murray, wide receiver, Florida State, goes to St. Louis. Dion Yelder, Ted, and Western Kentucky. Quinton. Vinzant, wide receiver, says no college. No college for Qu- Quinton Vinzant, Arlington. We'll have to keep an eye on him. And Ben Bees, fullback from Wisconsin River Falls, goes to Seattle. Uh, a couple more picks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then a bunch of teams skipped. San Antonio takes Reggie Corbin, running back Illinois. Reggie Corbin plays for played in the USFL, one of the better USFL players. So he is now taken his wares to the XFL. Uh, Charlie Tempuno, tight end, Portland State. Uh, St. Louis Battlehawks take him. Marcos Santos Silva, tight end from Texas Tech, also goes to San Antonio. San Antonio takes Jordan Williams, inside linebacker from Baylor, and then takes Devin Ross, wide receiver, Colorado, goes to San Antonio as well. Devin Ross, another, I believe, uh, USFL guy and former XFL player person as well so league and team personnel evaluated six thousand players at xfl showcases nfl training camps tryouts and biofilm top sp- prospects from these evaluations were entered invited to enter the xfl draft pool of 1700 players the xfl of course will kick off on february 18th blah 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 so there you have it there are all the picks some prize names in there a bunch of a couple of usfl guys josh gordon on that list you know and there's still more to come. NFL camps will end. Who knows? And this happened in the original XFL too. Guys get selected, and then they decide they're not interested. So these supplemental draft guys, you would assume that they're ready to go. But some of these guys might say no. Some of these guys might say, you know what? Just based on the way the team is laid out, I'm not going to have an opportunity. So I'm going to maybe just head over to the USFL. We'll just have to find out all the final rosters. Are really not going. We're not going to know until really just before kickoff. But there you have it. Teams are stacked. They're ready to go. Your team, XFL team, has a bunch of players. But there's still guys out there that could be coming soon. So you're just going to have to wait as the next couple weeks transpire because there's still guys out there that might be uh, signing contracts, quarterbacks in particular, with the XFL.